Hey there, Snap Happy Heather here. I am at the Orphan Lake Trailhead in Ontario, Canada. My friend Molly and I are going to backpack for a few nights on the Lake Superior Coastal Trail. Um, tonight we are going around Orphan Lake and camping at Coldwater and hopefully we have a good time. The trail so far is super pretty. Uh, one of our moves though, as we have worked our way up to this trip, is to get to our place too late and have to set up camp in the dark. So we left early, well, earlier today and I'm pretty sure we're still gonna be setting up camp in the dark. So enjoy the views tonight. Hopefully there will be more good ones. Hi friends. So we met some friends who we didn't know before at the Overlook to Orphan Lake and I'm pretty sure that this is said Orphan Lake and I think that we were just up on those rocks. We're never going to make it. We have to keep stopping and checking out the trail. Coming out on a big overlook of Lake Superior. The wind feels pretty good because we just climbed up fairly serious a little climb to get here. This is definitely reminding me of the Superior Hiking Trail in Minnesota. I bet a lot of the trail looks like this, but it's very novel. And so I'm recording a lot of it this first day. Staying upright. Here's our trail, wish me luck. Thank you, I appreciate the wishes, I heard them. Just trying to get my footing. <laughs> okay, and here we go into the woods. I'll get my pole out of the way, maybe. Oh, ha. it's the GoPro mount. All right, so I don't know how much hiking we get to do like this, but I will not complain. We came out of the woods over there and hiked down the beach and we just climbed up here. Molly's still scrambling along and away we go. That looks like our campsite. We made it to camp last night and set up before it got dark and even ate before it got dark. But as you can hear, we are in a storm that rolled in. And um, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a puddle underneath the tent. So it's pretty exciting. And a giant clap of thunder just woke me up. So, good morning! After last night's rain, it took us a while to get going and get packed up this morning. Um, camp is right back that way. And here is a stream that didn't exist last night, but off toward the next site. precarious slippery rock make a new trail friends hey there buddy you gonna take off oh bye we're making not quite one mile an hour and um this is why this is this is our trail and now we have these cairns like on that rock marking our trail headed this way. A little treacherous, a lot. 
not awesome. One great thing about sleeping through over an inch of rain is that the tiny streams turn into pretty cool waterfalls. We're enjoying some peace and quiet here, also known as some raging waves rolling in. We've been on some ankle rolling terrain, but it looks like we might have some easy beach up ahead. We're ready to make a river crossing. So, here we go. Oh, there she goes. She gave up. mentioned and looks pretty spectacular coming through these trees. The cairns like that one and this one are what mark our path along the edge of the lake here. Earlier we were making bad time because of the trail well, conditions. Now we're making bad time because of the trail views. Unbelievable. And now the trail looks like this. So tonight we are camped over there. We came from over there. We're hoping the wind dies down a little by the morning because is our trail. Sure is pretty though. Okay, it's a little before nine o'clock and we are leaving campsite two. Today is looking like a longer day. So I hope I have lots of pretty things to show you. This looks like nice and easy walking and it probably, well, definitely is easier without a pack, but it's quite slippery. So with the pack, it feels a little precarious. How do you guys like our trail? That's, that's it, we think. Okay, it's a balance board. <laughs> We're currently daydreaming of using this spot as a bath because I'm sure that water is nice and warm and there's a lovely little backrest and you can get your foot wash here. Uh, hiker dreams. Just rock hopping along here. Made it to the smooth rock. That felt like a long stretch. We're looking at this water and at these guys tearing down their tent over there, feeling a little bit jealous that they poached that site. Just had some adventure I was not looking for. I got stung by a yellow jacket through my socks. So Molly offered me some baking soda, which we don't have, but I used to be allergic to all of that stuff. And one of the things they said was to put deodorant on it. And I do have a small thing of that pack, so I just rubbed it down with that. Um, hopefully, that's the end of that sort of excitement. But we just came through another rocky section. It always feels like a good checkpoint when you make it to some smooth rock again. And the winds are picking up. I could sit and watch this water churn all afternoon. Oh, we found the trail. <laughs> and now for a second, we'll take this nice, easy path through the woods. 
hey guys, what do we think? What's causing this really bright red here? Should I touch it? Does this look the same to you yet? We're still loving it. Okay, really loving the rocks here. Look at this. I love how different the geology is here than our sand at home. Wasp's nest ahead, three to four meters. That's nine to 12 feet for us Americanos. Um, that feels a little targeted. Well, we avoided the wasp nest by coming back out to the lake. It looks like we have some more rocks before we hit some sand. So this is Catherine's Cove and the stream here looks a little like Esh Creek to me or Otter Creek at Esh Beach, I guess. And the lake looks a lot like Lake Michigan. We crested some hill and now we are on the backside headed down over to another beach. We are somewhere between Catherine's Cove and Sand River. We have been told that we've got quite a bit of beach walking. The park ranger we spoke to on Wednesday mentioned that this section was kind of boring, but I don't think it's boring and it is nice to be walking, like normal person walking. We've made it to the Sand River and I don't know if you can see the rapids up there, but we have a crossing and we are not sure if this is passable or if we're taking the bridge. I'm feeling like that's too deep, so this way. Making the Sand River Crossing now, probably the most scenic part of the whole trail, I'd say. The river is pretty though. It's unfortunate to be this close to these cars. Just refilled water from the stream here. And I think it's pretty cool that you can see the tannins so clearly in the lake where they come out from the Sand River. We're about to go over onto that rock and eat lunch. Just admiring all the different kinds of rocks that we get to hike in on this trail. These aren't so bad. You don't get video of the ones that are so bad because it requires all of my attention. We're smiling out here and having a great time, but it's challenging work. The trail dilemma. Do we attempt to go through there? Or out here? And those rocks are slippery. We chose to go high. I said we chose to go high. Okay, this section's a little gnarly carrying a pack. Like the rest of it wasn't. Well, we just decided coming around there was way too dangerous. So we bushwhacked and took our packs off and slid them down individually. And now we will make the crossing and go that way. Okay, so definitely part of the reason we couldn't come around that cliff face is because we apparently weren't supposed to. The trail comes out from the woods somewhere there and then we continue up this way. So that's our fault. But There's a river on the map called Crazy River. I don't know if this is a river. I don't know if it's crazy, but there it is and it's pretty. We are really, oh, I see a camp sign. We've hit the Barrett North campsite, which is great news to us because now we have a few of those and then we cross the Barrett River and then we are camping at Barrett South. So far we've been hiking for six and a half hours. So we're celebrating a little right now. Molly's giving the river crossing a try there. I'm crossing the Barrett River here. Oh, feels pretty nice. It is rocky, but they're not hurting too bad. And I made it across. 
So that up ahead on the left is the last Barrett North Campground. We have the next set of campgrounds coming up. We're gonna make it through this long day. We've been scoping out swimming spots all day and we've got to be getting close to our campsite. So we're coming back here after we, at least after we take our packs off. Maybe we'll get the tent set up first too. All right, for reference, swimming spot right back there, panning around, climbing down. Campsites are on the beach right here. Woohoo! We've got camp all set up, and now we've trekked back over here, not getting in these little tide pools, but, or right there, but heading back to the swimming hole. Ooh, that's slippery. Lake Superior is a little chilly. camp just after nine o'clock and we have been hiking less than five minutes and already have climbed up a hill and are now picking our way down this to this side of the beach just gonna leave this right here i've been focusing a lot on the lake but the trail through the woods is really pretty too lots of moss green things easy footing clearly having a speedy session here. I'm not sure how much of that we hiked, but I will pan slowly. And on the left side of the screen, where the rocks come into the water, that's where we swam yesterday. And then there's kind of a big boulder in the bay, and that is where we camped. And then on around this direction is Barrett Island. And here's our first view of all of the island. Kind of a cool spot to be walking. Mom, I'm not exactly sure this is close to the edge. What do you think? Just constantly amazed every time we come out of the woods and we're still right next to the lake and it's still this beautiful. makes me want to bring my fins and get in that water. We just passed a couple that we ran into yesterday or the day before. I don't remember. It's kind of running together, but they just told us the section of trail coming up is gorgeous and I do feel like I'm walking in a fairy tale right now. Also, they told us we're close to where we're headed, so that's good news. They weren't lying. Look at how cool it is. It's so beautiful. I had to stop and dig the Nikon out for some pro shots. Okay, so we have learned that sometimes the little hikey guy is more like a blaze and you just follow it. However, sometimes it indicates a turn from the path you're on. And also a lot of the path is marked with cairns that people have stacked. So if you're doing the trail, make sure that you pay attention when you get to one of the guys because losing the trail is easy and we have come to the uncomfortable conclusion, uncomfortable for our egos, that we definitely misread some of these signs yesterday and clambered over rocks with a 40 pound pack when probably we should have been in the woods. Can confirm. I'm not sure how long it took us to get from Catherine Cove to here. It's been about three hours this morning though from where we camped. We saw a couple of kayakers out in this water and Molly's wishing for her paddle board and I'd take a paddle board or even just my goggles. Why am I not getting in there right now? We stashed the packs in the woods because there was an arrow pointing for a view and 
I can't say looking around that I'm sad about that decision. This would definitely be harder and has been harder with a 40 pound pack on my back. Although I did just try and fall down anyway. Just my woohoo! <laughs> Serious rock climbing. Yeah. We're not sad we climbed up. We were just down there on the beach talking to probably the least friendly hiker we've come across, but we all survived. And uh, man, it's so cool to look back and see everything that you've covered. Okay, folks, I think it's time to go stash the packs in the car. Pretty sure we made it. Okay, we made it back to the car where we were going to eat lunch and then we're going to go out to the pictographs and see if there's anything else we want to do, if we want to do some more hiking or not. I'll take you with me if so, and if not, thanks for joining us on this adventure. I hope you had fun. We certainly did. Until next time, bye! We are headed to the pictographs, but this was a little side trail and I had to come check it out and the breeze is coming through these rocks and I'm in the shade and it feels glorious. It is nice and cool, but I will go back up to go see what's there. Okay, we're down at the pictographs and uh, I kind of feel like this should have been everywhere we hiked, but mom, we're going anyway. There's Fish. pictographs right there. Yeah. Painting in. I don't know what else is out here. Let's go see. Yeah, that's slippery. I was glad to have a hold of that just now. There's some more. Boy, out of everything we've done, this is some of the worst footing because lots and lots of people have done this. And it's like greasy with former foot traffic. I'm not sure we're going over there. We'll see. I think this might be an out and back. I don't really want to swim with my Nikon on. 